Okay, now we're going to talk about camera settings. We're going to start with the basic settings. Aspect ratio. You can choose whatever you want, but let's say if you want to match a video aspect ratio, I would choose 16 by 9. But if you want to get the most out of your sensor, I highly recommend you to choose 4x3, which is also the standard for photography. So aspect ratio, I would choose 4x3. When we talk about uh, the file format, I would choose RAW to shoot in RAW. That way you are going to capture more information and it's going to give you more room to tweak uh, when you edit your pictures. You can also choose to shoot RAW and JPEG in case you need to send your pictures uh, to someone very quick and you don't want to deal with raw files um, you can choose that option but you're gonna have more files in your sim card so um, the main format should be raw uh, then uh, set your camera to manual mode and set your focus to manual focus also activate the focus picking if you have that option that is going to help you uh, when focusing on the stars. Let's talk about white balance. The white balance is going to set the color temperature of your picture. You're gonna move from probably 3500 to 5000. 3500 is going to be more yellow, 5000 is going to be more blue. But I will probably start around 4300 and go from there. If you don't wanna deal with white balance, you can also set it to automatic and deal with it later when you edit your pictures. Now we're going to talk about the exposure settings or the exposure triangle. That means aperture, ISO and shutter speed. The ISO will determine how sensitive the sensor is going to be. The aperture is going to determine how open the sensor is going to be while you take your picture and the shutter speed is going to determine how much time that sensor is going to be open capturing the picture. When I create these images, I take two different kinds of pictures. A, the Milky Way pictures, which means the background pictures, and B, the foreground pictures, which means when I do light painting on a foreground subject. I use different kind of settings for, for the background pictures and for the foreground pictures. Now for the background pictures, which means the Milky Way pictures, I always set the aperture as open as the lens can go. For this lens, which is the Sony 20 millimeters, that is 1.8, f1.8. Now for this, the rocking on 12 millimeter, the one I use with my Micro Four Thirds, that aperture is 2.0. Now for the ISO, if you are using a full frame camera, you can go up to 6400 without getting too much noise. But I tend to use it on this one, the Sony a7 IV, which is my full frame camera from 2500 to 3200. I never go higher than that because I don't feel I need it. On my Micro Four Thirds, the Lumix GH5, I set my ISO from 1600 to 2500. Occasionally I did set it to 3200, but that it's on the edge of getting too much noise and then you're going to have to deal in post later and that's probably too much. If you own a Micro Four Third camera, I wouldn't go higher than 2500. Now for the shutter speed, the longer you get the shutter speed, the brighter the picture is going to be. But if you set it too long, then you're gonna get those awful star trails.
So to set your shadow speed the longest without getting star trails, there are a couple of rules. Those are the 500 rules and the NFP rules. Now the 500 rules for full frame cameras is 500 divided the focal length and that gives you the maximum shutter speed in seconds. For my Sony a7 IV with the 20 mm f1.8 lens, that is approximately 25 seconds. For crop sensor cameras, it is 500 divided the focal length times the camera prop crop factor. The Nikon crop factor is 1.5, the Canon crop factor is 1.6, and for my Lumix GH5, the crop factor is 2.0. So the 500 rules for my Panasonic GH5 with the rocking on 12 millimeters f 2.0 is around 20 seconds. Now the NFP rule is a little bit more complicated and that is 35 times the aperture plus 30 times the camera pixel pitch and all that number divided by the lens focal length. The Lumix GH5 pixel pitch is 3.34 and the Sony a7 IV pixel pitch is 5.12. So the results are a little bit different from the rule of high hundred. Uh, for my Lumix GH5 with the rocking on 12 millimeters f2.0, that result is around 15 seconds but some people say that it is more accurate this is the NFP but it's a little bit more complicated so none of this is exact so I highly recommend you to do a little bit of trial and error and set your shutter speed take a picture and if you have a big screen like my iPad to see the picture and zoom in and then you're going to determine if that is acceptable to you that if you are not getting off all star trails and it's a little bit of uh, you know your taste and try an error so that is what i use to determine the shutter speed i'm going to use for my milky way pictures which means the background picture <laughs> Okay, for my foreground pictures, which means when I do light painting on a subject, I use different kind of settings. For the aperture, I set it from 3.2 to 5.6, and that depends on how close the camera is to the subject. The closer I get to the subject, the higher the aperture, and that is because if you keep your aperture all the way open, uh, then that means less portion of the picture is going to be in focus so you have the risk to have your subject out of focus if you keep it wide open so uh, for me I find out that I never have to go higher than 5.6 um, and that is okay for me for the ISO that also depends on the kind of light painting you're going to do and how bright your flashlight is going to be but I find that I set it from 1250 to probably 2000 and the shutter speed it also depends on how bright um, the flashlight and the light painting uh, is going to be but I tend to use let's say from 6 seconds to probably 15 seconds those are my settings for the foreground pictures. Mm -hmm.